Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumebi Leah. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys this clip that I saw of a white man that had something to say about a group of black doctors who were just graduating from medical school. Would you trust these doctors with your life considering their college admission standards are lower and they might even have special classes to pad their grade to make sure they pass only available to minorities? Now that's not to say that none of these doctors are qualified, I'm sure some of them are, but are you confident that every doctor in that room got there by merit, that they have the work ethic? the intelligence and the impulse control to do their job properly? Whew. I'm just beginning to catch on to the fact that wherever you see black excellence, wherever you see black people succeeding and breaking bounds and making a name for themselves, there's always a palm colored person or a non-black person that is in the background and maybe in their feelings or bitter. You know, it seems like this always happens. So somehow this man managed to go and find the clip of this group of black doctors celebrating the fact that they now have the their white coat and they're officially doctors he went ahead found that clip and then stitched it and made that comment trying to basically downplay their achievement of becoming doctors <laughs> anyway before i talk about what i think let's just go right ahead and play some stitches because of course you guys know like everybody had something to say to that man Would you trust these doctors with your life considering their college admission standards are lower? Oof. I don't know where to even start with the amount of ignorance that was in that last video that I stitched, but let's start with some facts. This week is Black Maternal Health Week, and studies show that in the United States, black women are three times as likely to die during childbirth when compared to white women, and infant mortality is higher for black children than any other race. The studies also show that when black mothers are taken care of by black doctors, infant mortality rates cut in half. Black doctors are needed. And everyone that is a doctor is qualified. You have to go through four years of college, four years of medical school, and in medical school, you take step one and step two, board exams that are standardized for everyone that's a medical student. Then you go into residency, which can last sometimes up to seven years, depending on the specialty you go into. And that's why I'm to mention that even when you're a doctor, you still take exams to prove that you know your knowledge. It's a grueling process. And anyone that's a doctor has worked their butt off so that they can take care of patients, even patients like that person who are racist. What's incredible is we will care for you. We will give you the best care and we'll do it with a smile because we went into this field to help everyone. So if you're an underrepresented student thinking about going into medicine, do not let bigots like that lower your worth because we need you now more than ever. Would you trust these doctors with your life considering their- Those doctors are celebrating their achievements in the white coats that they earned while you sit at home in a f***ing sweatshirt. If you have an issue with black doctors saving your life, I suggest you stay home and die. It's your body, your choice. Please. Now that's not to say that- You saw a room full of black doctors and your first thought was to question their merit. No facts, just racism and vibes. Meanwhile, the actual literature and numbers suggest that every black person in America should be terrified of seeing a white doctor, especially pregnant black women. Take your glasses off, do a couple Googles, and you'll see that the origin of gynecology in this country was white men experimenting on black enslaved female women. Here's the title of my doctoral dissertation that I'm writing right now. When I see a room full of black doctors, I get happy as hell because this means maybe, just maybe, we'll lose less black lives in the hospital. Would you trust these doctors with your life considering their college admission standards are lower? And you know that because black people take the same standardized test to get into college and to get into medical school as everyone else. And they might even have special classes to pad their grade to make sure they pass, only available to minorities. No such thing. 
There is no such thing as a special class that only minorities can get into in any college or university. You're making that shit up. To say that none of these doctors are qualified, I'm sure some of them are, but are you confident that every doctor in that room got there by merit, that they have the work ethic, the intelligence, and the impulse control to do their job properly? Absolutely. I would trust every single one of them with my life because this is the one thing that I do know. Daddy didn't buy their way into school. They got there because they worked hard. They succeeded because they studied and they worked hard. And they have to take the same qualifying exams that anyone else has to take. So yes, I trust them. Now crawl back under your rock, Patrick. Considering their college admission standards are lower. Considering that the only reason why a lot of white doctors were able to support themselves through medical school is because of the financial affluence and privilege of their families. Considering that it's a lot of white doctors out here who are the literal product of legacy admissions to high ranking medical institutions. And taking into consideration the amount of white doctors who are the subject of a plethora of lawsuits ranging from malpractice to sexual misconduct to ethics to collusion and yes, medical racism. In terms of my care, if I had to choose between Dr. Rebecca from the Michigan suburbs and a dude from Brooklyn who looked like me, I'm going with the guy from Brooklyn who looks like me. Piss off. Would you trust these doctors with your life? Yes. Yes. Trigger warning, violent stupidity and bigotry. Would you trust these doctors with your life considering their college admission standards are lower? What? And they might even have special classes to pad their grade to make sure they pass only what? available to minorities. So dollar store John Lennon got on the internet with his whole chest puffed out and spoke with such confidence into that phone while being loud, stupid, wrong, and racist. All because the video of black people graduating from medical school triggered him. And then he goes on to presume that they are most likely not even qualified to do the job that they just graduated from years of schooling to do. All because they are black. I need you to understand and unpack everything that happened in his white life that brought him to this conclusion. It started off with affirmative actions racist to white people. Even though white women benefited from affirmative action more than any other group. But I bet you he's never questioned whether a white woman was a qualified doctor. And because we allowed that hateful rhetoric to continue, as if it was an educated argument, then it snowballed into this idea that people of color are getting into positions in colleges and places that they would not otherwise be qualified to get into. But since they're not white, they just get a free pass. And people where I'm from, they'll tell you that's not racist. I'm just telling you how it is. It's that affirmative action. And the irony of the entire thing is the hateful bigots making these arguments couldn't even accomplish what these black doctors accomplished. There is zero quantifiable data to back up their bigotry, per the f usual. But this is par for the course. These people will tell you racism in America isn't real. Don't trust black doctors because they're black and no other reason. And to make it even more ironic, if I were to talk to this bigot about, say, crime or poverty, he would run to the argument of, well, black people aren't graduating high school. That's why they're in poverty. Which is it, dum dum? Are they getting free passes and graduating schools because they're black? Or are they not graduating schools because they're black? And that's why poverty exists higher in the black community than in the white community. Pick a f struggle, bigot. This is why, white people, that we in our community need to stand up and silence this f***ing hateful rhetoric that goes on around us. If you hear it, shut it up. Because that rhetoric turns to violence, and your silence is complicity. And they might even have special classes to pad their grade to make sure... It's cool when I do it, but it's a problem when black people do it. I'm a racist. How many years have gone by? Were plenty of white people who had no business being in Harvard, Yale, Brown, Tufts, whatever, Penn, got there because mommy or daddy had a pen and wrote down in their checkbook that they were going to pay for this or that. Yeah. There are plenty of kids who are only in Ivy League schools who are only in prestigious professional programs because mommy and daddy have money. That's it. I know it's almost impossible that a whole bunch of black people were actually qualified.
Statistically speaking, we work harder than you do because we have to, because we have to overcome the race that we experience when we have to interview at these places. But how dare you? How dare you insinuate that we don't? Beautiful. Would you trust these doctors with your life? I do not like going to the doctor, but definitely trust them. And I 100% trust that doctors like them from historical marginalized communities are gonna work harder because of all the work that it took for them to get there. But let's talk about this payaso. He makes this pretty racist video, and I just feel like his views are rooted in jealousy. That seeing success from somebody that he feels superior to makes him feel some type of way. Watch. Can you trust these doctors with your life considering their college admission standards are lower? And they might even have special classes to pad their grade to make sure they pass, only available to minorities. Well. Now that's not to say that none of these doctors are qualified. I'm sure some of them are. Rather I'm confident for? that every doctor in that room got there by merit, that they have the work ethic, the intelligence, and the impulse control to do their job properly. Well, with just a single sentence, he dismissed all of their accomplishments and the rhetoric of like, I'm sure some of them are good people. Notice that he doesn't give you any information or data to back up whatever he's saying. And his statements are making assumptions about them not being intelligent or not having the work ethic. And everything is rooted in the idea of white supremacy as if those people are inferior in some way. Disgusting. He would not be making those statements if the people in that room were all European American. All this without adding that for decades, European Americans have gotten into colleges without merit. With things like legacy admissions. And let's not forget that not too long ago, there were a bunch of controversies about rich people using their wealth to cheat their children into getting into colleges that they weren't supposed to be accepted into. I have a lot more to say, but Familia, what did I miss? I'm sure there was a bunch. And to finish this off, congratulations to them. I might actually start going to the doctor. Doctors. You know, one of the reasons that we don't have more black doctors in the United States is because Flexner, who is considered the founder of modern medical training, was racist as f This sunglass guy can get bent. Would you trust these doctors with your life all to do their job properly? Pavol Patriot 4, is this you? Hold on. Oh, that's better. Um, this is a book, and I can tell by the content on your page that you don't possess the reading gene in that inbred family of yours. So why don't you find out which one of your um, brother cousins possesses that gene and then have them read to you some passages out of medical apartheid. And in this book by Harriet A. Washington, by the way, it discusses how black people were experimented on in the medical field in this country since slavery. And will explain why we have a weariness of going to doctors. So yes, the worst doctor in that room I would trust with my medical health before I trusted anyone who looked like you. And let's get into why besides medical apartheid. Hold on. First, this is going to require more reading and we've already gone over that so you know what to do. But. In spite of having 14% of the United States population, only 5.7% of doctors are black. And they usually have to go through a more intense study program because it is also hindered by racism and harassment. Now, as far as that innuendo you made about set-asides and special programs that black doctors were privy to that made it easier for them to be physicians, that's a bunch of bullshit also because the proportion of black physicians in this country, that 5.7% I showed you, hasn't changed much in 120 years, long before there were any quotas or set-asides. See, most black doctors come out of historically black colleges and universities, and we know their standards are usually higher. Now here's something else for you. More than half of U.S. doctors face medical malpractice in this country. Yeah, and a few doctors account for the oversized share of malpractice claims due to misdiagnosis. You care to guess what race is Oprah represented in that stat? So yes, due to the history of medicine in this country and the implicit biases and racial disparities in the healthcare system, yes, I would. Considering their college admission standards are low. Oh, baby, I can tell you got this thing here twisted. Not only am I going to trust them, I'm going to actively seek them out. Because I know that they sit for the same licensure. 
that they have the same accreditations as those other doctors who had nepotism and privilege on their side. I also know that when I walk into their office and I'm frustrated and angry, they're not going to blow me off as an angry black woman, that they're actually going to do a lot of investigation and realize that anxiety and depression manifest differently in people that look like them. And I also know that they're going to spend a little bit more time educating that brother that looks like them as to why it's so important to get their blood pressure and their hemoglobin A1C under control. And for that young mother that looks like them, who is telling them after giving birth that she's in so much pain that it's unbearable, they're not going to blow her off and tell her, oh, that's normal. They're going to treat my pain appropriately. Would you trust these doctors with your life? I believe that because they were scrutinized more unfairly, they probably do a better job. I believe that they would be more sympathetic to the worries that I have about being mistreated by a doctor on account of the fact that black people experience mistreatment by doctors all the fucking time. I believe the white guy just doesn't know how affirmative action works and is just racist. And that actually the people who got admitted to the universities, regardless of how it happened, still had to pass with good grades. It's not like I'm walking in that bitch and getting a degree. And my only mistreatment ever by a doctor was a white doctor. <laughs> would you trust these doctors with your life? Yes. Yes, I would. Very much trust them with my life. Mainly because black people care about everyone. To black people, our lives do matter. But to everyone else, Everybody's life doesn't matter, and we're specifically talking about white people such as yourself. But yes, more than any other doctor in this world, I would, I, I would trust a black doctor that came directly out of school that is in their residency to give me my diagnosis. Yes, I would. Because we care, actually. That's why white children find a big black man when they're scared. Because black people care. Would you trust these doctors with your life? Consider hmm. Would I trust a bunch of freshly minted doctors with my life as opposed to trusting a guy who looks like he's sitting on mommy and daddy's front porch, still rocking the Justin Timberlake from NSYNC hairstyle with those disgusting pores where all that jealousy is oozing out? Hmm. Wow. Tough choice, Cotton. I don't know which one I would do. Face it, and I understand this is going to be hard for you to do, so pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. They have achieved, in the years that it took for them to get those white coats, they have achieved more in that time than you have in your entire existence. I would trust those doctors with my life because they are doctors. You can hamstring and, and handicap it all the f you want. That's exactly what they are. You, on the other hand, I wouldn't trust to walk my dog. Stay mad at black excellence. So, yeah, <laughs> you guys can see from the stitches, everybody had a response, you know, black people, all the minority groups as well, and fellow white people, everybody had something to say in response to that man. And I'm happy that everybody was speaking up. I personally, I am so excited. I'm proud of these new doctors. And the more black doctors we have, the merrier, because I've heard so much about black people getting mistreated in the hospitals. This man said several things about these black doctors. He said that the College admission standards are lower and i'm just curious please anyone who can confirm if what he's saying is true please let us know in the comments do they have different admission standards based on your skin color when you're trying to get into medical school because it makes no sense to me and he also said that these black doctors that were graduating probably had special classes that were basically for the purpose of trying to pad their grades to ensure that they pass as if you know special attention was being given to them to help them to graduate medical school and then he goes ahead to question if they even got their medical degree by merit if they have the right work ethic if they have the right intelligence and impulse control and this exactly is where the way to the system shows because what does he mean by if they have the work ethic to me that's like him playing into the stereotype of black people being lazy 
to me that is how i interpret that particular statement do they have the work ethic then you're talking about do they have the intelligence oh so black people are not smart the same way they said black people are monkeys we're not smart we're subhuman we're three-fifths of a human that is what this sounds like to me and now talking about impulse control that is the one that i'm confused about what does he mean by do they have the impulse control impulse to do what exactly because if there's anything i know black people have it's empathy and i feel like that is even the greatest quality someone who is a caregiver or in the medical field or a doctor should even have so yes in response to his question i would be a hundred percent confident in a black doctor i would trust a black doctor with my life i will be more at ease with someone who looks like me and a lot of the people who stitched said the same thing as well so yes i went to check this particular guy's tiktok account just to find out it was banned and yeah tiktok is a better place with people like this not there really so you guys let me know your thoughts on this whole thing why is it that they just try to insert themselves into black issues black spaces trying to invalidate our experiences trying to minimize our successes why can't they just let us be why does black excellence provoke them so much why you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole situation i'll be reading in the comments please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't turn on notifications that way youtube will let you guys know whenever i have a new video up and i will see you guys in my next video bye